What up data nerds? I'm Luke and welcome to my channel where I help make data viz tools easy. In this video, we're going to be focusing on how to upload your dashboard into Tableau Public. This video is actually part of a series where we went from uh, connecting to a data set in Google Sheets, making a dashboard, and then uh, finally this video here where we're going to be uploading it to Tableau Public. So we're going to do a quick recap on uh, how to connect to Google Sheets, uh, show the dashboard, and then the bulk of the video is going to focus on actually uploading that um, dashboard to Tableau. So let's jump right in. So to start with, this is the data set we are connected to. It's the uh, Tableau Superstore data set, and I have a link to this data source in the um, description below. So feel free to connect to it, download it, and use it in your uh, dashboard build. But this is just a really simple data set that has uh, different sales information for different regions, uh, information uh, tab on information on different returns that occurred, and then finally, um, a overview of what sales representatives are assigned to each region. And just to so show inside of Tableau, if we go to the data source tab in the lower left-hand corner and select it, we can see that we're connected to this Google Sheets and that we're connected to the three tabs. So this is the dashboard that we want to upload into Tableau Public. And for those that haven't been part of this series, all this dashboard does is just encompass the sales performance of all the different sales representatives. So we can drill in if we want to on certain sales reps and see how they're performing, what their commission is, um, and maybe give them hints on how they can perform better. Nonetheless, we want to upload this to Tableau Public to have access for anybody to go to and actually access it and play with it. So there's a few different ways you can publish it. Um, the two that come to mind are one, come up to server, and then from there, I can go into Tableau Public and I can go to Save to Tableau Public. Um, I like this little shortcut button right here, uh, this little three circles, and we can use this to share workbook with others. So I'm gonna click it. And from there, it's gonna prompt you to sign in. Um, if you don't have a profile yet, you just come down here and you create a new profile. But I have a login for Tableau Public, so I'm gonna just go ahead and go put that in. Okay, and now it's gonna come up with this pop-up window where we're gonna go into actually saving the workbook to Tableau Public. Right now, the title is the same as my Tableau document. I don't wanna change that, so we'll keep that. And then right underneath that is, um, I find a really neat thing is the Google Sheets. It's, it says, keep my data in sync with Google Sheets and embed my Google credentials. This is a really key component of this is that now we have an automated solution to where if we update the Google Sheets, it will automatically be updated in your dashboard in Tableau Public. So let's go ahead and click Save. And I already had one uploaded with this name, so I'm just gonna go, yes, I want to overwrite it. If it's your first time, you won't see that pop up. It then may po uh, prompt you again whenever you go to publish the dashboard to sign in with your Google credentials or whatever credentials you used. I will click that and then I'll click allow to, it says, hey, it wants to access my Google account, mainly so that we can access the Google Sheets. And now it will go ahead and once we've published it, it will actually launch this browser that will show the dashboard launched within Tableau Public. And as we previously did, we can come in and select a sales rep and it will filter it down to that sales rep. So with this dashboard in Tableau Public, we're automatically connected to the Google Sheets as I previously stated. So let's go ahead and show how whenever we update that Google Sheet, how it's gonna be reflected in the dashboard in Tableau Public. Let's say we have this uh, representative, Chuck McGee, and let's say he gets uh, fired and we have somebody else that replaced him. So we go here, and we find Chuck McGee, and then let's say that he's replaced by um, John uh, Schmuckatelli. Okay, so uh, John Schmuckatelli uh, is now in charge of the South region. 
So now that we've updated that data in the Google Sheets, what happens is Tableau Public will actually pull that data on a daily basis. So your new data is not gonna be in there until the next day. So let's fast forward one day and go into the dashboard. And here we are a day later and we can see that John Schmuckatelli is now added to the data set and we can filter now on uh, his performance to actually understand how he's doing. So that wraps up this video on how to launch your dashboard into Tableau. For this, we recapped how we connected to a Google Sheets, uh, made a dashboard, and then finally launched it to Tableau Public. Um, if you've been following me along for the video series, this is the final video, uh, like I mentioned before, and so thankful that you followed along for it. Uh, my plan is to do an advanced series uh, sometimes next year. So I'd be really appreciative if you dropped a comment down below on things you'd like to learn uh, in the advanced series. Um, but other than that, for this channel, we're gonna be focusing on building visualizations with Python and then also with Power BI. Um, it'd be awesome if you liked this video and also consider subscribing if you'd like to learn more about those di uh, different visualizations. And I uh, hope to see you again.